Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to continue on our Whirlwind Tour of Tailwind. Funnily enough, I did not practice that. It just came to me like the divine inspiration that it always does. For a long time, before I knew Tailwind was a thing or that I even liked Tailwind, I was a huge, was, and still am, a huge uh, CSS and JS fanboy. Uh, I very much enjoy all the flexibility and creativity that styled components, emotion, and all these other CSS and JS libraries uh, gave me. I thought it was incredibly flexible. I actually really enjoyed having all of my uh, styles and UI in one location. I actually have, think I have other videos about it as well, so I'm not really gonna belabor the point about why I am a big CSS and JS uh, uh, devotee. Um, but when I found Tailwind, I realized that I didn't really need CSS and JS that much anymore because I could just use Tailwind's built-in styles. It turns out there is a library on the internet that combines two of my favorite things, uh, which is CSS and JS and Tailwind. So let me tell you about a little twin that I didn't know I had. So there is this library on the internet, specifically GitHub, because that's where all code lives, uh, this library called Twin. And I'm just gonna read what it says here because it sums it up very nicely. It blends the magic of Tailwind with the flexibility of CSS and JS. That's right, it takes everything I love about CSS and JS, everything I love about Tailwind, puts them together, and honestly, the result is more than the sum of the parts are larger than the parts individually. I always forget how that expression goes. Um, this thing's cool. Uh, the repo is called Twin Macro because it actually uses um, Babel macros to uh, do the actual work. But what Twin lets you do is it kind of builds on top of CSS and JS libraries like Emotion and add some Tailwind specific functionalities. So the easy example here they have is that you can actually import Twin Macro and then using this fancy TW attribute, just apply Tailwind styles directly. Um, I will note this is, I think this is mostly React centric and view, view centric, React and Preact centric. I don't think it works with view at all, but React and Preact, and of course I love React, so that's fine with me. So what's cool with Twin is that it kind of adds some of these capabilities that I'm pretty sure Tailwind wished they had built in, uh, but they can't because all Tailwind is are vanilla styles, whereas Twin can actually manipulate your styles and do whatever it wants with it. So an example of that is how with Tailwind, you actually have the ability to do where is it, this example. So the Tailwind, you can actually have these uh, classes that let you actually change the behavior on hover. So you can prepend hover to certain uh, Tailwind classes to change behavior. So like on hover, change the background color here. And you can do these one at a time, that's fine. But with Tailwind, because it's, an, it's a macro with Babel, it actually provides this kind of neat syntax here where you can kind of group hover styles together and tail and twinned will expand that when it actually compiles your code. So this is actually doing hover for both text black and underline. Uh, same with focus and other things like that. Uh, breakpoints. So if you were to do breakpoints with uh, tailwind uh, breakpoints, you have all these different sizes to use and then you can kind of prefix these sizes when you're using them. Uh, do they have an example here? So don't have an example, super. Uh, but you can do medium text center, which you can do here, but here you can actually group multiple styles together. So again, it's kind of this nicety here. And what's really cool about Tail, about Twinned is because it has this um, compiler process, it's actually pretty small in what it outputs. Uh, Twin actually, so when you install Tailwind by default, it doesn't include all the different permutations of modifiers that are available. So what that means is that uh, they don't control, for, uh, having active 
prefixes for every type of styles is not available by default in Tailwind. Uh, if you actually want to use different um, modifiers, you actually have to configure Tailwind to include that when it's built because Tailwind doesn't want to bloat your CSS. Uh, with Twin, what it actually does is gives you exposure to everything at once because when it actually compiles your code, it'll convert these individual styles into the actual resulting classes themselves. So it converts from Tailwind knees to CSS and JS and then uses the CSS and JS library to then output the styles discreetly. So it kind of gives you the best of all worlds. And because it's a compiler, it also has helpful suggestions, which I found to be meh. It's nice, but I haven't found them to be terribly accurate, but it's still cool. And of course, because you're using um, CSS and JS at the end of the day, you can also just use your own vanilla CSS as you'd want to, like your own styles that you'd want to as well. Um, I have this example repo loaded up here where you have TW that you can combine multiple styles here. Um, let's change this button instead, uh, this styled component button. Uh, let's do text small, save that, let it compile, make things small. Didn't do anything, that's good. Uh, I don't even know if that was a, is that a style? Yeah, it's a style. Um, do text extra large. Good. So yeah, so here's an example here. Um, it's easier to read in this console here. Text extra large was not found, um, but no suggestions there. That's great. Extra large. Let's do large there. Uh, what's another focus? Focus, focus. Um, is small, text small, text large. Do uh, two extra large? No, what is it? Do I mean text 2XL? That's the suggestion that I want. So text 2XL. There you go. So we'll make that nice and big. If I go back to one, a large. Now it's smaller, 2XL. Make it bigger. But essentially, Twin just makes it easier for you to write Tailwind styles. And the thing that's great about it is that it's directly built on top of uh, styles components or emotion. Um, installing Twin doesn't seem to be the most easiest process, but when you're dealing with battle macros, it never seems to be the case either. Um, customizing things like that is, it's a, it's a long step. You're dealing with the uh, build tool chain, but I guess it's worthwhile at the end of it. But mostly I wanted to kind of just chat about Twin to kind of give you some awareness that it existed uh, and that it might be a thing that if you do like CSS and JS a lot and you are curious in Twin, uh, in Tailwind, this might be a, a good library for you to kind of play with to bridge both those worlds. Uh, I would recommend though, if you are just starting out with Tailwind to probably just stay with Tailwind itself. Uh, that was the big question that I had when I first started looking into Twin versus Tailwind. Um, it's... Uh, Another layer of abstraction that I think would have made it harder for me to learn if I had gone straight to Twin. So just like you should learn CSS before you learn Tailwind, I think you should learn Tailwind before you go to Twin. Twin is like the uh, accelerant when you actually get um, real uh, 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 familiar and comfortable using Tailwind. So I'm curious, have you used Twin in the past? Do you like it? Uh, I've not used it extensively, so I'd be curious to hear some of your more um, uh, battle stories about the good and bad you've experienced with it. Uh, it's a very cool library, definitely brings a lot of ideas to it. Um, and just kind of cool to see this experimentation in the whole world of uh, CSS and JavaScript at large. That's the video for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, let me know about your thoughts in the comments below. New video next week. I'll catch you then. Stay happy, stay good.